Hi, my name is Manu Ali Kani. I am Dean and Professor at Citro Academy, and I'd like to welcome you to another session of Citro Channel. Today, as continuation of discussion on friction, I'd like to focus on a very important clinical application of friction, and that's the overlay wires. <music> You remember about overlay wires. Many times that we have a tooth that is significantly away from the main arch, we try to bring the tooth with having two wires set up. One that is preserving or controlling the anchor units for us that are both sides of the target unit, and one that is attached to the target unit and produce the force system to move the target unit. The characteristic of these wires, the one that is attached to the target unit usually has a low load deflection rate, while the wire that is attached to the anchor unit usually has a high load deflection rate. If we are tying the overlay wire to the anchor unit, it on bracket, we have two wires on top of each other, and that can produce higher magnitude of the friction. Then what we are expecting to happen? To better uh, understand this phenomenon, I divide this discussion to many sessions, and today I mostly want to focus what happens if the overlay wire over the stiff wire produces a high friction in both sides? To understand this condition, let's assume we have two boards that can move, but they require force to move away from each other. And we have a flexible wire, similar to the night high wire, that we bend and put between these two boards, and we connect the bracket to this flexible wire. You're expecting that if the force of the night high bend and night high wire is high, it will push the boards aside and the wire gets straight and the tooth will be in the center of the space. On the other hand, if the boards are too strong to move, the wire stay curved and there will be no movement. This can happen during the clinical scenarios. If we are putting an overlay wire on the target unit and the both sides have very high friction to the extent that wire cannot slide on top of the stiff wire, you expecting that the wire either stays curved or it produces enough force to move the anchor unit. An anchor unit can move with that magnitude of the force. However, if the anchor units are too strong that they cannot move by the magnitude of the force that produced by this night high wire, the situation stays in the same condition from one treatment session to another treatment session. In another word, you will not see any improvement in your treatment. Sometimes we mimic this condition by putting two stop in the night high wire, and we try to uh, prevent the night high wire two slides. Almost we are trying to create a maximum friction condition, even though it is not really friction at this condition. And we are hoping to make a space by preventing the night eye wire, the overlay wire, to escape from the side. If you are putting the overlay wire to the target tooth that is far away from the main arch, the friction can go significantly high and the movement may completely block. Therefore, we recommend any times that you are using the overlay wire, do not put it on the targets that are way far. On those conditions, it's better to use the free object design, bring the target closer to the main arch wire, then you put your overlay wire and take advantage of the night high wire and flexible wire to produce a proper force system. Next time, I like to focus on the conditions that we like to produce low friction on both sides and see what is the advantage and disadvantage of that situation and how we can have that set up. I hope you enjoyed this session of Citro channel. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe and please don't forget to press the like button. Thank you.